Hey everybody, this is the Beware reading for your sign for this month. I'll do three spreads. What you need to be aware of this month spread, the advice spread, and the next good thing that will happen to you this month that will at least put a smile on your face spread. Please like, share and subscribe. Let's begin. Hi Capricorn, this is the first out of three spreads, the Beware spread. We have the Nine of Swords, clarified by the Six of Swords. Um, we have the Magician, clarified by Temperance. We have the Six of Wands, clarified by the Devil. And uh, we also have the Seven of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Gemini or uh, Sagittarius or any Zodiac sign. Uh, this is a very specific reading, Capricorn. Uh, the message I keep hearing is do not lose hope. Do not stop working on whatever it is you're working on. Don't stop pushing. Don't stop doing whatever it is you're doing. Or if, you're, if you face a difficult situation at some point in November, you can always ask somebody for help. You know, Communication is always key and it's not bad to ask for help. Nobody's going to think of you as uh, anything less with, than what you are. As a matter of fact, I do see you uh, succeeding at something towards the end of November, right? So we got the uh, Nine of Swords, clarified by the Six of Swords. The Nine of Swords, I think that's you. Either that is already you by the time November starts, um, or at some point during November you may face a situation that will put you in the Nine of Swords energy and you, as you can see the person in the Nine of Swords is either crying or they're stressed out, they're depressed, they just can't get out of bed. Right? All of this is because something that is uh, perhaps not happening in their life. Perhaps you've been working really hard towards something and it's just not happening or you may face a wall at some point in November or you may lose hope right and uh, the six of swords clarifying it is a card of an improvement right this is a card of a rough patch being over perhaps you're going through a rough patch right the six of swords is a card of moving out of choppy waters towards calmer waters um, here comes the magician clarified by temperance the magician is either somebody who's gonna help you because the magician could be a professional somebody who knows what they're doing somebody who is the best at what they do Right, the magicians got all the tools they need at their disposal. Or if this is you working on something really hard for a while, then perhaps think outside the box, as uh, people used to say <laughs> 20 years ago. It used to be a popular phrase think outside the box. But seriously, you've got all the tools. You've got all the tools at your disposal. Perhaps still ask for help. Just do your research, keep working, keep trying different ways, keep trying different approaches, right? Temperance, uh, clarifying the magician could be a card of uh, patience or it could be a Sagittarius who may come and help you, right? But be patient, keep working. And uh, here comes the Six of Wands, clarified by the Devil. The Devil is your major arcana card, Capricorn, that's you. And the Six of Wands is a card of victory, success and recognition. And it's a completely different energy from the Nine of Swords. So you will succeed, you will prevail, you will find a way out, you will put this, you will solve this puzzle. You will get over that wall if you're facing a wall. It's, it's not the end, it's not a dead end. Whatever situation you're going to be facing in November, you will find a way out. There's, there's, there will be something or someone who will, who will help you find a way out. That's what the spread, I believe, is all about. All right, so that's what we have so far. But yeah, I think I gave you <laughs> plenty of advice, um, Capricorn. But let's do the advice spread uh, anyway, just in case. Here's the advice for you, Capricorn. This is from your perspective. This is what you need to do, or at least take into consideration. Um, we have uh, the Ten of Wands. We have Temperance. We have the King of Swords, clarified by the Magician, and we also have the Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, if you can't get this done by yourself, ask for help or hire somebody. And so that somebody would be the King of Swords, clarified by the Magician, right? The Magician is a repeat card we said in the first spread. So the King of Swords could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Uh, the Magician, by the way, could be a Gemini, right? But uh, together, it could still be somebody who's got a degree in something you're experiencing a problem with, right? They could be a professional, somebody who knows what they're doing, somebody who's got a lot of experience. 
with whatever it is uh, you're struggling with. And uh, the Ten of Wands, the first card that came out, is a card of a burden and it's a card of a struggle. It's a card of something that's taken a toll on you, something that's tough. Right? The Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck, this is you stuck. For some of you, you're literally stuck. Uh, for others of you, you're stuck mentally inside your own head because you cannot move forward. Temperance in the middle is also a repeat card. It could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with, but Temperance is a card of patience. All right. <clears throat> For some of you, perhaps you could embrace the energy of the King of Swords and just be very straightforward, very direct, focus on the goal, focus on the target, and uh, you will succeed, right? Because in the first spread, remember, we had the six of uh, ones clarified by the devil, and like I said, in that, during the first spread, the six of ones is a card of victory, and you are... You are the devil, <laughs> yeah, recording. <laughs> the devil is your major arcana card. So you will succeed, you will win. All right, you will prevail. All right, so we're moving on to spread number three. Spread number three uh, is uh, the next good thing that will happen to you in the near future. All right, Capricorn, so here's spread number three. This is the next good thing that will happen to you that will at least put a smile on your face. We have the Tower clarified by the Five of Pentacles. We have the Three of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords clarified by the Six of Swords. And we also have the Devil on the bottom of the deck. So this is pretty much the same thing as the previous two spreads. The King of Swords is either an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Or this is you embracing the energy of the King of Swords. This is you becoming very focused. Even, um, I don't want to say ruthless, but it's like nobody is going to get in the... Nobody can stand in your way. Okay, um, yeah, the King of Swords is not somebody to mess with, right? So perhaps if this is you embracing the energy of the King of Swords, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter, then you've got the sword and use it. Well, figuratively speaking, <laughs> Capricorn, all right? Um, yeah, uh, but uh, for most of you, the King of Swords is somebody who's going to help you out, and as long as you reach out to this person. Again, could be an air sign for others of you. It's a professional, somebody who knows what they're doing, depending on what you're struggling with, somebody you work with, or you may hire somebody to help you out. But this person will definitely help you, right? The, the King of Swords is classified by the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is a card of an improvement. Uh, we saw this card in the first spread. Did I mention this is a different deck? Yeah, it is a different deck, right? Um, yeah, so the Six of Swords is a card of things getting better. All right, the, the, the Three of Pentacles to the left from the King of Swords is a card of collaboration. So this is you co collaborating with either this King of Swords or collaborating with somebody else. Or perhaps this trouble, this um, problem you have is with work, business, or finances, right? Because the Three of Pentacles could be a work, business, and finances card. The Tower, clarified by the Five of Pentacles, and yes, we're going backwards. This is, this is kind of similar to the <coughs> Nine of Swords energy we saw in the first spread. So in the Nine of Swords, like I said, this is you really stressed out about something um, because of the Tower moment that we have here. The Tower is something that does not go according to plan. The tower is a major obstacle in the way. The tower is something falling down, some kind of a puzzle that you're unable to solve, right? And the result, as a result of that, you're going to feel like those two people in the Five of Pentacles. This is a card of feeling left out and the cold feeling miserable, right? But again, King of Swords to the rescue, okay? The devil on the bottom of the deck, that's your major arcana card. Alright, so it's always a good sign to have your own major arcana card in your own reading. So you'll be alright. You'll be okay. Don't panic. <laughs> Alright, reach out for help. Do your own research. Embrace the energy of the King of Swords. Right? You will figure it out. And that would be the next good thing that will happen to you that will at least put a smile on your face. Alright Capricorn, so that's what I have for you for this reading, for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share it and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Capricorn, have an amazing November.